There's an African proverb that says if the lions don't tell their stories, the hunters will get all the credit. I'm telling you the story now because you're young lions and lionesses. My great-grandfather had been in slavery and it goes across generations. You just don't get rid of it simply because there are no chains on you. The effects of slavery are still very prominent, just as the effects of the Holocaust are still very prominent amongst our brothers and sisters in the Jewish community. The Jewish people have the DNA in their soul to look up close to what happened to African Americans after slavery. We came to the South, young Jews, rabbis, many of them refugees from Nazi Germany. We hear Dr. King quoting the prophets. That was extraordinary. It made us proud. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel said, the future of America will depend on how it responds to Dr. King. It was the work that Dr. King had spoken for, you know, fairness, equality against anti-Semitism and support of freedom for Soviet Jews. A large Jewish presence in the civil rights movement was evident almost from the beginning. Well, Stan Levinson and Harry Wachtell were lawyers who were working with Dr. King. They were advisors, marchers, fundraisers. They were in the thick of things. Many Jewish students worked all across the South. And I will never, ever forget three young men, Ann Goodman, Micka Scherner, and James Shaney. Birmingham is bombing him. We all know the Exodus is the central narrative of our redemption. And here is a modern situation. Shall we do nothing? We could not have gotten anywhere had not Protestants, Catholics, and Jews showed up from all over the world. Rabbi Yakim Prince spoke immediately before Dr. King. The most shameful and the most tragic problem is silence. The civil rights challenges of our time, the human rights challenges of our day, they hang on me. They hang on you. They hang on who? They hang on us. We all need to get together to find out the bigger picture. Those who have been stepped upon have to lead the way. It's all about our humanity. And if we don't figure out a way truly to work together, we'll just be like hamsters on a wheel. The systemic oppression and issues will just continue. There are too many people living in fear. If Rabbi Hersher and Wonders King Jr. were here today, I think they would be saying, we need to pull together for the generation yet unborn. The soul of America is at stake. Thank you.